Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another rack store haul. I actually was able to pick up a fragrance from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And as you can see from the footage, the stores are stocked for the holidays. I'm seeing much more things that I normally would not see at the rack stores. So I encourage you, now is the time of year to get in there and see what you can find. Typically what these retailers will do is they'll start stocking up on fragrances that they don't typically carry throughout the year. You can find more box sets, just more things things that might pique your interest. So the two fragrances we're actually looking at today, the first one is Hugo Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum. And another flanker of a popular fragrance that I have wanted to try for quite some time, and I passed on this a couple times last year. I had seen it pop up at a couple Burlingtons and hadn't seen it since. Dolce Gambana's Light Blue, Love is Love. This one I got from TJ Maxx, also $49.99. And this is for a 75 ml and the Boss bottled is 100 ml. I will look to see how those prices compare to online discounters, but I think that is pretty much in line with how much you're gonna pay for these fragrances, maybe give or take $10. So sometimes it is fun to find this stuff out in the wild grab it and try it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna try each on skin. We're gonna skip the strip, try them on skin. And again, just as a reminder, this is just a first impressions video. This is not a review of either fragrance. This is just a, my initial impressions and whether or not I think it's worth you grabbing based on first impressions. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with Love is Love. All right, so here you have is Dolce & Gabbana's Love is Love. Now, this is a lesser talked about flanker of the light blue line. I don't think it gets very much love or for lack of a better term, very much love or very much attention, but it's one that I've wanted to try for for some time. I What little I know about it, it has a vanilla note in here that I guess some people compare to like vanilla ice cream, which I thought was intriguing considering this is a light blue fragrance, a light blue flanker, which is typically an aquatic sort of light summery scent. So I'd be curious to see how they use vanilla in this. So not the best atomizer. In the air, I'm liking it. It's a very fresh, uh, tip, uh, citrusy, typical of what you would expect from a light blue flanker. Funny enough, on first spray of this, it's reminding me quite a bit of the women's version of light blue, which in turn reminds me of a Mancera fragrance, which I like quite a bit, not for me, but on other people. I think it works best for uh, the ladies, and I think it's definitely unisex fragrance. That fragrance is Mancera's Sicily. The first thing that I'm getting from this is obviously that comparison, but I'm also getting what to me is almost like that amber woods, that synthetic amber woods, which I'm not crazy about. I'm definitely picking up that vanilla note. So it's a really light vanilla. It's not anything sort of cloying or overly sweet, but I think it does a nice job of rounding the fragrance out. You get the citrus aquatics that you typically get out of a light blue flanker mixed with that vanilla. So it's exactly sort of what I was expecting, knowing what little bit I know about the uh, note breakdown in this. Really nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on skin and I am gonna jump into the Hugo Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum, another fragrance that isn't getting a lot of love right now. So I'm curious to try it and see why. So I've always been a fan of the Boss Bottled Bottles. Uh, I like this one. I like the color and it's almost like a gold copperish color. So curious to try this to see if it is indeed an Eau de Parfum version of maybe the OG. I don't know much about this fragrance other than it does, again, it doesn't get a lot of love. Another disappointing atomizer. Both of these fragrance, okay. In the air, smells really nice. All right, let's see what we get from Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum. So immediately I'm getting some citrus, some fruitiness up top, that signature sort of apple in the original Boss Bottled, uh, and that's the OG Boss Bottled, not the Boss Bottled Intense, but the Boss Bottled that you can actually go and still buy today. It is reminding me a bit of that. It's a bit richer, it's a little bit deeper, what I would expect from an Eau de Parfum concentration, but it is different in its own way. I am picking up some spiciness from this, definitely some woody sort of grassiness, uh, maybe a vetiver. I can't quite make out the spice. I like it, I'm enjoying it. However, it does feel 
again, on first impressions, a little muddled to me. It kind of doesn't know which direction it wants to lean in. I'm also getting a slight herbalness to this. So I'm gonna look up both notes, uh, note list, note breakdowns for each fragrance. But honestly, I'm not really impressed with this. It's likable, it's not terrible. It is coming across to me as a bit generic and not close enough to the OG, which I love. I like that fragrance quite a bit. It's sort of notorious for being a poor performer and just sitting really close to the skin. I would say that this isn't a massive projector, just at least on first impressions. There may be a sage note in here. That's, I think, some of the herbalness that I'm picking up from this. It stands out to me. Uh, it reminds me a bit of the grapefruit and sage from the most recent flanker, I wanna say. It's not the most recent, but it's a recent flanker of the Cool Water line. It's a similar sage and uh, I'm picking it up. It, it's very prominent in here. Let's take a look at the notes. I'm gonna look up the notes on Love is Love, keep sniffing it and see if how much it's changed on my skin. So the notes for Dolce & Gabbana's light blue, Love is Love. Top notes, grapefruit, bergamot, granny smith apple, and mandarin orange. Mid notes are apple, rosemary, ice cream, and pink pepper. And base notes are amberwood, musk, and vanilla. So definitely that amberwood, as I said, it's similar to the amberwood that is in, if you've tried it, Aqua de Joe's Absolute Instinct. I like Absolute Instinct more. I like how Amberwood is used in Absolute Instinct more. It's a fragrance. I think it depends on the depth of the fragrance. If I'm picking up other things, it's not the most prominent note. And I will say it's fading a bit in Love is Love, but there's more, the sweetness is amped up as this dries down. I would say that Love is Love is for sure a unisex fragrance. For some, it may lean a bit feminine. For me, it's kind of leaning a bit more feminine than masculine. And I think it's because of that comparison I gave in the beginning to Mancera's Sicily. Really nice, I think, you know, maybe your girlfriend, your wife, your sister, they would probably really enjoy Love is Love if they are a fan of the OG light blue. It has that vanilla note, that ice cream note, and I do pick up on that. It's that sweet vanilla that comes out more in the mid dry down. Quite enjoyable, not something I would personally wear, but I like it nonetheless. Don't trigger bond is light blue. Love is love. Maybe a good gift this Christmas. So looking at the notes for Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum, top notes are apple, black pepper, and bergamot. Mid notes, cinnamon, chestnut, and cardamom. And base notes are musk and vetiver. And going back to this, I'm actually enjoying this one a little bit more than the opening. It's a bit more spicy, that cinnamon. It's more closely resembling Boss Bottled, but it's still not quite there. It's still a bit muddled and there's something in here. I think it's the use of sage. To be quite honest, I think the sage is a little bit overpowering for me for such a warm, spicy, sort of fruity, fragrance uh something that uh you know is sort of almost resembling like a dessert uh like an apple pie i know people compare it to that but that sage note is kind of throwing it off for me it's also a lot more woody as it dries down i like it it's just not something that i think uh is a must buy or a must grab boss bottled eau de parfum that's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you have tried Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum or Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love. What are your thoughts on them? I'd love to know. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.